All right, y'all, you get to see me quite the get up, isn't it? All right. <laughs> okay. Let me uh, get this glove on. Okay. All right. Let me flip the camera around. I got to take the glove back off. Duh. Okay. All right. Here's what you really want to see. Okay. I'm about to liberate that eight and three quarter rear axle from what's left of this 72 Dodge truck. Um, I figured that it was probably probably a pretty decent idea to save at least some of the leaf springs. Um, but they're not real, real good. <laughs> Nor are they, uh, you know. So what I may do is do this kind of a two-part kind of deal. Take the leaf springs off and then uh, but take the axle out separate from the leaf springs. So I'm probably going to cut the U-bolts and then go from there. Okay, so anyway. All right, um, enough talking. Let's get to work, okay? So uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to cut the U-bolts and then I'm going to come back and cut the leaf springs. Let's see. Got to some lights here. I'm going to use my lights to see what the heck I'm doing. Got some pretty good light coming out of the garage here, but. Okay, y'all. Um, I want you to not necessarily, I'm not sponsored by anybody at all, but these blue, I've got that upside down, so let's just see. The name on that is Blue Ion. These are from um, um, see, Blue Ion. See right there? Oops. I didn't blind you. These are not from Harbor Freight at all. These are from Cornwell Tools. Yeah, and I am uh, really happy to own two of them. Not two of these exactly, but two of their lights. So, let's see. All right. Okay. I'm going to set you all up over here so possibly, hopefully, you're not, the camera tripod's not in the way. So, anyway, let's get, let me get to work here. Oh, yeah. When you're doing this, try not to have the sparks going towards you, but sometimes it may be inevitable. Maybe unavoidable. That's what I should have said. Unavoidable. I got one U bolt cut. I'm going to have to probably cut, cut it again. Can I go this way? Let's get those sparks to go the other way.
Okay. You heard that pop when I was cutting these. That's the pressure being released. Even though this thing's been clamped together for a long, long time, those springs still got some pressure to them. So, all right, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to cut the other side, passenger side, driver's side, sorry. That was the passenger side. See? Now we get a hammer and knock the rest of that bit away and get the leaf springs out of the way so I can get these suckers out of the way here. The shock, I think I'm going to just, I may have to just cut this bolt here off and then knock the rest of it out of the way. Pry the rest of it off. I've got some pretty big pry bars to pry them off. This is kind of junkyard like stuff anyway. So I'll be right back, folks. Show you a little bit more in a minute. Okay, y'all. Um, I have got the U bolts cut. I've got the shocks cut loose. Um, they're vintage from back in the day and they're completely shot. <laughs> um, there's not a whole lot salvageable on this thing. I'll just go ahead and tell you the bed floor is completely rotted out. Everything is, is the housing and the axles are really the only things I'm after really here. Uh, the buddy of mine, my buddy Rodney Hargis, he, uh, <coughs> he, he's the one who gave this to me, gave the housing to me which is tremendously kind of him. This trailer was probably put together by his dad, who uh, sadly is no longer with us. Uh, but the entire time I've been working on this thing, I've been thinking about his dad, so. Uh, he's probably saying, what in the hell are you doing with my trailer? <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, all righty. Um, I think if he saw it like it is today, he he would probably agree with what I'm doing. <laughs> so, but uh, Rodney is also responsible, is the buddy of mine who's responsible for giving me all of these tools here. So, which I'm highly grateful to him for all of that. <clears throat> so, um. If you get a chance to go to slant six check out slant six drag racing he is one of the guys that does that so i i do it i used to do it too but uh since my car here i've had some trouble with the differential so there's another one i got to rebuild uh so i had a little trouble with that and so i haven't been racing much since then so you know shame on me i guess but also with the pandemic and also problems with uh, my kids, not problems with my kids, I'm sorry, just, you know, uh, the demands of, of kids going to college, uh, you know, that's, those of you who know, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's financially very stressful. So that's why I tend to stress that I'm doing all of this on a, on a very slim budget, you know. All right, um, but let's see, let you see under there. Got you know, everything free. I gotta jack this other side up quite a bit more to get it out, but you see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it and show you a little bit more. Okay, y'all, as you can see, the rear end is gone. Where did it go? <laughs> well, it's in here, so. Uh, done some scrubbing on it. It is a 489 case, which is fantastic. Uh, maybe I'll be able to buy it off of him sometime. But anyway, for right now, I'm really pleased it's punched with the housing because it's exactly what I needed. It's the exact width and everything like that. <clears throat> and while I do have a C-body housing, then I would have to weld some purchase on like weld some purchase on like that I would have to weld those purchase on and I would be having to make sure that I got them in the right orientation 
So that's something I have to be aware of. You have to be aware of. If you don't have them in the right positions, you can have drive line vibration from your U joints not being uh, in phase and in line with one another. So, or at odd angles. So that's something to be aware of. Um, if you, uh, so this saves me a little bit of work. I still will be running the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern on here. And I'll still probably will have to use a, uh, adapter plate, adapter plates on this axle, which is not that big of a loss because my back tires on my truck are kind of, well, they're kind of narrow. And if I can get something that kind of spaces them out just a little bit, yeah, it may not be that bad of a deal. So, especially if you're going up to like a, a you know, a, a eight and three quarter like this here, this here is. So, all right, anyway. Okay, I gotta wrap this up because it's getting late and uh, gotta, I still gotta get this, what's left of this truck out from in front of my garage and get it at least out there in the yard out of the way so that my wife and my daughter can uh, move their vehicles out because they're just right over there. So, okay. Anyway, all right. I thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this or any of the other videos, you know what to do. You're smart. You can just...